Walt Disney World is truly filled with magical experiences and magical attractions. Some of them are extremely popular, like Flight of Passage or Soarin' or Test Track. Others are not as popular, but still really great. Today I'm going over the underrated attractions at Walt Disney World. First up is Living with the Land in the Land Pavilion at Epcot. Living with the Land is Disney's greenhouse tour where you can see different plants growing all around the boat, learn about them as you go through. It's a nice, quiet, slow-paced ride, and usually, depending on the time of year, the wait time is less than five to ten minutes. In my opinion, Living with the Land is a perfect middle-of-the-day attraction because when it's hot outside, you can go inside the Land Pavilion and Living with the Land and cool off just a bit. Another attraction that I feel is truly underrated and underappreciated is the Country Bear Jamboree. A personal favorite of my dad's, the Country Bear Jamboree has been at the Magic Kingdom for a long time, but in my opinion, it really never gets old. Yes, the songs do get a little bit repetitive and it's not the best animatronics Disney has ever made. That being said, it is wholesome, family fun, and in my opinion, underrated. An underrated attraction that's been getting more and more popular over the years is the Tomorrowland Transit Authority People Mover. When Dad and I went to Walt Disney World for the father-son adventure and we went on the People Mover, Dad said to me, you know, I remember a time when the People Mover was always a walk-on, and it used to always be a walk-on. It's gotten more popular recently, but it's still magical. For those who haven't been recently, the People Mover gives you a grand circle tour of Tomorrowland and really good views of Cinderella Castle. It's a great way to relax and cool off on those hot days. Now I could not make an underrated Disney attractions video without including the Carousel of Progress. I try to live by the Carousel of Progress motto. There's a great big beautiful tomorrow shining at the end of every day. Yes, the animatronics are a little bit older, but the story, in my opinion, never gets old. Maybe one day they will change that last scene to be more with the 21st century, but the ride in total needs to always be there. Walt's vision, ah, oh, I love it. Another Disney attraction that is definitely underappreciated are the Kali River Rapids at Animal Kingdom. I think the reason it's underappreciated is because it's basically a water ride in a dry park. I think that many guests just want to stay dry throughout the day, so not many get in line, but it's definitely worth doing. Last but not least, and I really wanted to include it on this list, Muppet Vision 3D. We have heard rumors for the longest time that Muppet Vision might be going away in the future or possibly possibly be revamped. I hope the revamp rumor is true because I personally love the Muppets. Yes, Muppet Vision 3D is a little bit older. The 3D effects aren't quite to the level where they are now, but I love it. I absolutely love it and I need to make more time for it in the future. A bonus Disney activity that I did want to add to this list, but it's not technically an attraction, are the Discovery Island Animal Kingdom Wildlife Trails. I cannot tell you how many friends have told me they did not even realize the trails were there in the past, so make sure you double check for those trails. Imagine the coolest interactive walking zoo at Animal Kingdom. It's awesome. That's my list of the most underrated attractions at Walt Disney World. Which one do you think is the most underrated on our list? And if there's any you want to add to this list, let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. Thank you so much for being a part of the magic with me. Until next time, have a magical day.